Hello everyone. The Catholic Church respects and loves the homosexual person the same as it does the heterosexual. Catholicism teaches that homosexual people must be treated with respect, compassion and sensitivity. Every act or thought of hatred, violence or persecution towards the homosexual is completely condemned. The Church consider, considers any and all sexual activity outside of marriage as seriously sinful. Masturbation, fornication, adultery, homosexual acts, pornography and artificial contraception are all serious sins in the eyes of the Catholic Church. Homosexual acts also contravene the natural law, which is based on reason. They need to be repented of in earnest and confessed in the sacrament of penance before one receives Holy Communion at Mass. The Church opposes same-sex unions based on Genesis 1, 25-28. This is what it says. God created man in his own image, male and female he created them. God said, be fruitful and multiply. And Genesis 2.24 says, A man shall be joined to his wife and they shall become one flesh. Jesus himself uses these same quotations in Mark 10.6-9 when asked about marriage. The prohibition of sexual activity between same-sex people is writ large on the pages of Scripture, particularly in St. Paul to the Romans, chapter 1, verse 26. And this is what it says. God gave them up to dishonourable passions. Their women exchanged natural relationships for unnatural, and the men likewise gave up natural relationships with women and were consumed with passion for one another. Men committing shameless acts with men and receiving in their own persons the due penalty for their error. Catholics believe that marriage is a permanent, faithful and God-willing, fruitful union of a man and a woman who have entered the covenant relationship of husband and wife. The sacrament of matrimony is a sacred bond that imitates the love between Christ and his bride, the Church. The Church believes that because God instituted marriage, neither the Church nor the secular authority that is the state has the authority to redefine or substantially change the nature of marriage. When governments flout the law, and many countries have, when they flout the law of God in this regard, they act in an arbitrary way and undermine Christian marriage. In the eyes of the Catholic Church, same-sex so-called marriage is out of the question, a complete non-starter. Thank you very much for listening to me this evening, and God bless you all.